Hi again and welcome to Niki Bath. Today from KMC Hospital Mangalore and our specialist center for knee and hip surgery, uh, myself, Dr. Yogesh Kamath and our team, that's Dr. Nabil here, who's an orthopedic surgeon and Dr. Bishwa, our rehab specialist. We are going to collectively tell you a little bit, uh, trying to bust some myths about knee pain. So, as you know, we have a specialist knee and hip clinic and many times um, a majority of our patients, of course, are senior citizens. When the children accompany their parents and we've advised surgery, it's not uncommon that a, a 30, 40 year old uh, professional son or daughter would ask me, uh, my mother has got this arthritis. Am I likely to be like her when I'm 60 years old? So what I would uh, advise strongly is yes, bone shapes are genetically transmitted. But if your mother or father or your grandmother has suffered from bad arthritis, it doesn't mean that you are going to get arthritis. There's no doubt that arthritis or rather the prevalence of arthritis is increasing in recent times. And this is more because we are definitely getting used to less activity than our yester generations did. Putting on weight would definitely increase the chances of arthritis. A lot of us are getting pains and joint pains out of stress, which is no doubt a part of modern life. Having said that, if you are developing knee pains, it does not mean that you would have surgery at some time in future. A lot of early knee pain can definitely be traced to bad postures, bad lifestyles, bad diets. Having said that, it doesn't mean that any kind of knee pain or especially pain that you get following injuries or something that is consistent despite whatever you do should be ignored. A lot of doctor colleagues too have this thing in the mind, I'm getting knee pain. I will probably be advised surgery if I go to this knee specialist surgeon. A lot of knee pain, like I said, can be managed without surgery, but because of the fear of surgery, when we avoid taking opinions and avoid taking remedial measures, we can actually sometimes make arthritis worse, which over time does predispose us to severe arthritis and severe arthritis might mean replacement surgery. What I want to highlight here is there are different forms of surgery which can prevent you from having bad arthritis. So niggly pains, though they can be managed by exercise, certain pains can be due to early cartilage issues. We've got a lot of new treatments in place which can actually help reverse early arthritic changes. There are treatments with your own bone marrow derived stem cells. There are treatments with injections like TRP. These treatments can often be done on a daycare basis with good investigative modalities like MRI, which can help us point to the specific problem. There are various small procedures which help us preserve the natural joint, which we offer by means of being a comprehensive knee care specialty. These procedures, if you have at the right time, can help prevent major surgery. What do you think about this, Dr. Nabil? Yes, so many a times we see patients who have deteriorated into worser knee problems when uh, many times they could be managed with, with their mild to moderate knee problems by very well by exercises, very well by their changing their work ergonomics or changing into a more balanced diet. So there are more commercialization on fat diets where uh, 
there is no scientifically proven evidence there is no documented evidence that this will actually reverse knee arthritis if patients are obese we definitely need to cut down on uh, their uh, calorie intake we definitely need to add a good amount of uh, vegetables good amount of fruits into their diet a good amount of vitamin c and uh, us uh, and ask them to uh, get into a more uh, healthy fat intake diet so many patients fail to realize their knee problems uh, until they go into a uh, uh, injury phase or they get into any kind of arthritis so over my years of training period i have come across many uh, patients being forced into what is called as emergency knee surgeries so let's go on to dr yogesh to discuss about is a knee surgery really an yes dr nabil uh, that's right uh, it is uh, very common that uh, arthritis goes into flare ups and when an arthritis is in a flare up the patient is most troubled automatically family members who are uh, obviously feeling bad think of an immediate solution in our culture it is more of a thing to act at that time rather than to plan things in advance now this is something that doesn't work with planned knee surgery particularly if an arthritis is in a flare up there is a lot of inflammation within the joint and if a joint replacement is done at that time the patient is likely to take a lot more time to adjust to the new joint with joint surgery it should almost always be planned therefore when one is planning the whole outcome of surgery one can automatically make logistic uh, real and realistic expectations about the rehabilitation as well which we surgeons when we advise should explain to the patient as well similarly when patients have injuries particularly on the sports field they lose their confidence and there's a lot of anxiety associated many times uh, they are advised about having ligaments reconstructed in the urgent situation that is also extremely rare unless there is a dislocation to have a ligament reconstructed early in fact what we should be doing in the emergency situation following an injury is rehabilitation with the right exercise i'd love our rehab expert dr bishwa to enlighten us on this yes you can start with your exercises even after injury uh, yes you can start with your exercises even after injury as one has to continue with their day to day activities just like walking or going to toilet even after injury so those things cannot be stopped however doing simple exercises could take the fear away so it is always advisable to start with simple exercises so that the muscle doesn't get twisted the knee doesn't get painful or stiff uh it's always advisable to seek opinion from a specialist knee surgeon or a specialist physiotherapy before you start your intense exercises the same way even a surgery is an injury to the knee be it a replacement surgery or sports injury related keyhole surgery 100% of our patient walks and does their exercises pretty much from the same day of surgery uh, when you are planning to go back to your sports it is always uh, advisable to start with milder form of exercises and avoid heavy impact exercises initially and gradually build it up once the pain reduces great thank you dr bishwa if you want to uh, refer to our previous videos you have actually uh, would see dr bishwa demonstrating these basic exercises which each and every one of you can do when in knee pain those will actually even help reduce the pain and prevent further damage anyway uh, uh thank you so much for a patient listening and uh, we will look forward to seeing you again at the end of june the 25th of june where we are going to talk to you a little bit at how 
at our specialist knee and hip center, we have been managing planned surgeries during the COVID epidemic. Uh, we have a lot of uh, precautionary uh, measures in place so as to conduct your planned surgeries in a safe environment, especially because many of you are working from home and have the means to undergo these at this time. So look forward to seeing you again on the 25th of June. Bye.